All right, so this is the blend shape editor here. Let's talk a little bit about it. If I go to edit, you see I have create blend shape, which lets you add targets to the blend shape as long as you have them selected in the right order. And we have options for the orientation. Right now it's vertical. I can change it to horizontal, which gives me sliders going this way. And that's more of a personal preference thing. So the blend shape uh, editor here is really handy for not having to deal with the channel box trying to get to these options and it gives you additional options like adding base and so on and you can click select again like I said to select the chat the surprise eyes blend shape uh, object that's created in Maya so blend shapes let's go back to our create the former blend shape options and make sure we understand everything that's happened in here so again, we have blend shape node, that's where you name it. Envelope, that's the percentage of effect. And then the origin, we have local and world. And by default, it was local. So you'll notice that whenever we change the original sphere to match the shape of the target, the sphere itself did not move over here to match the target's positioning. It only it stayed where it was and changed its shape. And that's because the origin is set to local. If we set it to world, I mean, this would have to have been done when we created it, or if we want to change the current one, we can do that. We'll go into the attributes of the surprise eyes and change the origin from local to world. So now, whenever I change this, you'll see that the sphere will actually move to the position of the target. like so. And if you move the target over here, for example, it'll move to wherever you move the target. Uh, most of the time though, especially when you're dealing with faces, you don't want the head of your character to suddenly run over here to match the shape of a facial expression. So most of the time local is used in that case. Let's go back to our options. Then we have target shape options. Check topology is, is, is checked on by default. Then we have in between and delete targets. Delete targets, if this is checked, then after you create the blend shape, the target object is automatically deleted because you don't need the target for the blend shape to take effect. But the target is handy for editing the effect after the case since uh, it will no, no longer be there to change if you for some reason don't like the target's shape after you've done it. So I usually leave them here and I'll even create like a layer in the layer uh, editor over here and hide them, but just have them handy for if you ever need to change them. So check topology. By default check topology is on and what that means is simply it checks to make sure that the objects match when it comes to the geometry. Because what I did originally was I just created a sphere and duplicated it to create the targets, which is common. Uh, and so with check topology on, it makes sure that the geometry is the same whenever it creates the blend shape. So let's uh, let's try it without that. Let's delete these. I'll create a new sphere. And then I'll create a duplicate. Hold shift and click a bounding box around my sphere to select my original sphere, not the duplicate. And move it over here. And I'm going to change the subdivisions of my sphere to be different. So now this sphere has less divisions than the original. Right? So the, so the topology is definitely different. So now with this shape, I'm going to, again, change the shape so that it's different than a sphere. So this is my target. I'm going to shift select my original sphere. And up here, I'm going to apply. Now you notice nothing happened. If I select this sphere, you'll see I do not have the targets. So it did not apply correctly. And the way, I right now I have the help line hidden. We go to display UI elements uh, command line, that's what I meant. So again if I select these two 
and hit apply, you see I have an error. No deformable object selected because check topology is on. If I turn check topology off, it won't necessarily always work. Hit apply. Okay, it worked this time. And you see I didn't name it, so it's called blend shape one. So now it's going to try to match this target. And yeah, it doesn't really work super great. So, but it did apply it. So check topology just simply will not work if the topology is different. But if you turn it off, then it will work. It just will not work probably the way you want it to. This is probably why you typically want the same topology in a blend shape. I can't really think off the top of my head why you would not, why you'd want to do this, <laughs> uh, just based on this uh, demonstration. I'm sure there's probably a reason. Uh, I just can't think of one. But check topology. If you turn it off, then you can blend shape any two objects. You just will not. It is there, there's no guarantee that it, this object will become this object because of the topology is so different. Okay, so let's delete these. And then uh, turn this back on, and then we have in between. Let me uh, create a couple more objects. I'm going to create another, another sphere. That works best. So for this, I'm going to create a couple spheres. Okay. And I'm just going to do something quick. Okay, so here I have a series of shapes that are very different. So all of these are going to be in between targets. So I'm going to select them in the order that I wish for them to be in betweeners. If you're familiar with animation terms, an in between is you have two keyframes and then you have the frames that are in between the two keyframes. Those are called in between frames. Uh, so this is similar to that in the concept where you'll have one blend shape that blends between multiple shapes in the order that you select them. So I'm going to select them in this order, then hold the last hold shift and click my base. Go back to my create blend shape options here and say in between. Turn that, turn that on and I'll call it weird sphere and create. So what should happen if this all worked properly Go to my weird sphere. See, I have one channel here. I don't have multiple targets. I have one target, but it's using all four of these shapes as one big blend shape. Let's see. All right, so you see, as I slide this from zero to one, it goes between the four shapes I made to create the one blend shape slider. Isn't that neat? Let's go back to uh, Window Animation Editors Blend Shape. Again, I have one. I kind of like the uh, vertical one myself. So I have one slider here again. I just drag this up, and you'll see that it blends between the four shapes as it goes from zero to one. And that's based on the order that I selected them in when applying the blend shape. And that's using this uh, in between option in our create the farmers blend shape window. So again, origin local is probably what you want most of the time. If, if you have it set the world then your your uh, base object will move to wherever the targets are that you're blending between. Uh, then you have your envelope. Zero to one is again like a percentage of how much of the effect is taking place. In between is very cool and that's whenever you want this effect like we just did before check topology you probably want that on so that means you have to maintain your topology between blend shapes which can be annoying especially after you create the blend shape if you need to change the shape of the base like editing the geometry that can be very tough so I definitely suggest waiting till you're completely done with the model to create the blend shape and it's going to take practice you know you're going to run into situations where you've created the model 
you create the blend shapes and then you see that because of the way the model was constructed the blend shape doesn't work or isn't quite as clean as you'd like and that's just a practice thing you'll then know for next time your next project to do that better but I think this is a good uh, basic understanding of how blend shapes work if you have any questions or suggestions if I miss something definitely let me know and I hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you later